welcome back Dr. Kevin Cavanaugh from Health Watch USA. Good morning. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, we learned news yesterday that the version of the coronavirus that we are dealing with is not the one that originally got out of Wuhan, uh, China, that it has since mutated and uh, become even more contagious than the original. Well, that's correct. And as I said, from my calculations last week, I felt it was more contagious and it also gets you a higher viral load when it infects you, so the disease may be somewhat more severe. Now, although it's kind of new news that it's in print, this is really what we've been dealing with for the past month or so. And this is what the data is I've been looking at coming out of New York and the Northeast. So it's not anything anybody should get scared of. What really scares me about this epidemic are the people that are protesting. They're taking off their masks. Uh, they're gathering when they shouldn't. They're not doing social distancing. This is what's scary. I mean, we know how to defeat the virus. The virus can be defeated simply by staying apart and staying at home. And that will cut it off from its spread. And so this is what we really need to start doing. All right. We also hear stories in the news about uh, earlier reports of the novel coronavirus, that it may have started spreading outside of China earlier than we had thought. Does that really matter in the long run to more than people who might be writing the history of the thing? I don't think so. I think in all epidemics, the spread occurs much, much earlier from when you can figure out that you've got a new organism that is starting to infect people. That's almost to be expected. The thing that we really do need to realize is that the virus that came in up in Washington, D.C. is a different strain or is probably a different strain than that with the Northeast and what Kentucky will be dealing with. And the strain in the Northeast, uh, which because it spreads faster, is probably the one that's going to become the dominant strain in the United States. All right. Meanwhile, everyone is working uh, as hard as they can to learn as much as they can about the virus and what may be used to fight it. Uh, the University of Maryland has started late last week some uh, test inoculations on humans to see what may be able to knock that out. The University of Kentucky this afternoon, their folks are going to talk about clinical trials going on there testing not necessarily vaccines, but treatments for it. Uh, they say that they will investigate, and uh, doc, correct me when I get these wrong, azithromycin, ivermectin, and camistat mesylate, which they say are drugs that could inhibit the replication, the reproduction of the coronavirus. Yes, there is so much research going on that people really need to sit back and they need to rely on science, and these are truly the frontline people, because when they're doing research on these drugs, many times they're doing research in a COVID-19 facility on COVID-19 patients, and they are putting themselves at somewhat at risk. And so that is really something that we need to be appreciative of, and they are truly frontline workers. Things are coming down the line rapidly. I suspect we'll have a vaccine. Now, the new revelations last week of this different strain does affect the viral attachment protein, so the vaccine may need to be modified to increase its effectiveness. But we do this with the flu vaccine all the time. Every year there's a new vaccine. But it does point out the fallacy of this herd immunity idea it is too infectious for herd immunity, and now you've got two strains, and the immunity to one strain may not translate to the second strain. So those who think that herd immunity is the way to go, I've stressed again and again, the science just isn't there to back it up. This virus is too infectious, has different strains, it's an RNA virus. We need to really rely on social distancing, everyone wearing a mask, and also the vaccines. And I should add that up in Massachusetts, the governor, which has the highest rating, over 80% popularity now, is Governor Charlie Baker. And he's requiring masks, he's requiring stay-at-home orders, and he is a Republican. So this is not party versus party. It is virus versus everyone else. And we really need to come together as, as a society and do what it takes to defeat this thing. 
Dr. Kevin Cavanaugh, Health Watch USA. How can we find out more about that organization and get your information in your newsletter? Uh, go to the website, healthwatchusa.org. We have abundant information on the coronavirus, uh, links to a site that shows you how we're doing with social distancing and cell phone data, along with a number of articles that we've written for Infectious Control Today and op-eds in newspapers. So if you have time, please visit the site, healthwatchusa.org. Thank you. All right, Dr. Kevin Cavanaugh, thanks a lot, and uh, we'll talk to you in a couple of days.